We are celebrating Women's History Month today by learning more about a woman from Buffalo's past whose work you likely know, but whose name probably doesn't ring a bell. Louise Blanchard Bethune. Our next guest knows a lot about her and is here to teach us about this boss from days gone by. Kelly Hayes McElhoney is the author of a new book called Louise Blanchard Bethune, Every Woman Her Own architect. We're so glad to have you with us. What an interesting person to know about. Um, but let's just start with who she was and, and why she is such an important figure in Buffalo's history. Great. Well, thank you for having me. Louise Bethune was the first professional woman architect in the United States. She was born in Waterloo, New York, but she was raised here in Buffalo from the age of 11 on. And um, in 1876, she uh, went to work for a, a local architect, Richard Waite, the most prominent architect of his time. And in 1881, she was ready to strike out on her own, and she opened her practice on Main Street uh, in 1881. So she was by far the first woman professional architect in the United States, and maybe even beyond. And you're an architect yourself, so yes. this is someone who paved the way mm -hmm. for you. Now you're sort of paying back in a way by making sure people know about all the work that she did. Why was so little known about her? Yeah, her story is really a hidden history. There's no doubt about it, uh, largely because uh, her records were lost, so uh, her, she and her husband had a practice, and they both died within a year of each other in 1913 and 1915. Um, and then their third partner inherited the, the documents for the firm, but then that, that firm only lasted a few years afterwards. So the office records were lost. She had only one child who had one child who, who only had a child, so the family records, most of them were also lost. So with such little personal and professional material left, just within a few years of her passing, she had sunk into obscurity, even mm -hmm. though nationally, during her lifetime, she was very well known. And what would people know her for here in Buffalo? Something pretty um, that stands out, certainly. The Hotel Lafayette, of course, uh, which, of course, went through a wonderful restoration in, 20, in 2010. Also, um, the restaurant that is now known as Trattoria Aroma, that was one of her buildings. The Dole Warehouse, which is located um, downtown. And a 211 of Summer Street, which is a wonderful, it was the old Spencer Cullock mansion that also was hers. And then of, of her approximately 180 buildings that we know that she and her firm designed, only 30 are standing now, and most of those are houses that are in the Elmwood Village area. One quick thing that you uh, included was that she was the first woman to own a bicycle in Buffalo. How did you get that information? <laughs> it was an article that was written in 1892. She was a founding member of the, the Buffalo Women's Wheel and Athletic Club, and that was the second women's bicycling club in the country. And Louise was the first woman to own a bicycle. And they said that she would wake up early in the morning and she and her friends would ride to Lockport or to East Aurora, to Niagara Falls on weekends on their, their bicycles in, in a corset and a long skirt. Ahead of her time, ahead for ahead sure. Of her time. Kelly, thank you so much for being with us. We want to let people know that you have a book launch tomorrow, fittingly, at the Hotel Lafayette. It's at 6 p.m. at Public Espresso? Yes, it is. And where can people find your book? They can find it on the SUNY Press website or on Amazon. All right, thank you so much for being with us, and we have more to come.